I'm back, and I'm now joined by Tyler Terry, who is the director of sales for TouchMD. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, of course, Max. Thanks for having me on. I know you've been busy. I finally got you in the chair here. Yeah, it's been a great conference. Uh, busy as always at the aesthetic meeting, but it's been great. Thank you. Absolutely, my pleasure. And yeah, uh, I think we found that it's been it's been really great here. I know they said they had um, really good registration. Yeah, I feel like people are ready to get back. I know we've been saying that. I feel like for a few years, but yeah, since COVID, it's like really over now yeah. like i feel like the meeting is back conferences are back yeah people are back yeah i feel like you know for the first time it feels like everybody is vibing here it feels like pre-covid yes that's i think what i'm getting at yeah and it feels like you know people aren't saying oh we're not going because of covid or you know my staff doesn't want to go because of that i mean it, it's nice it seems friendly like i said good vibes um it definitely feels like it's i would say 15 to 20 percent bigger than what I remember, and that this is, I think, my 10th or 11th ASAP, so. You're a veteran. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Well, so that kind of gets to where I wanted to go next, which is if you wouldn't mind just giving our audience a little bit of your background and then telling them a little bit about TouchMD. Yeah, sure. So I actually have been with TouchMD for almost 11 years. So this has been my entire career in aesthetics at TouchMD. And, and I always get, you know, when a practice asks me, you know, how long have you been doing this? They're usually expecting, you know, maybe three to five tops. And most reps, you know, jump between companies. So they're not they're not used to, you know, a younger guy being in the the industry for a decade. So um it's been it's been great. I started literally from the mill room at Touch MD. Um I started off uh in our call center setting appointments for the sales reps. Um I always wanted to get into luxury high end sales um and either, you know, hey, sell something of luxury or, you know, manage like a high end uh resort. And so I'd put the bug in my CEO's ear and my president's ear to get a shot at sales. And, um, you know, they'd usually, um, you know, kind of flip me the keys to go, you know, wash the truck or pull up the carpet. I'd do all the little things to get a shot at an opportunity to sell. And one day they called me into their office and basically I felt like I got called into the majors. This is like 10 years ago. Um, but I got, I got a shot to sell. I remember going to the Vegas cosmetic surgery meeting and, you know, getting a few sales under my belt and, and working my way up, but they've been absolutely phenomenal to work with. They've really taken me under their wing, um, just learning the ropes in terms of not just sales, but marketing and relationships. And the main thing being, you know, how to just be yourself um, when you're working with practices, not trying to do too much and really just to take care of practices. And I think that's really the fabric that's been the fabric of TouchMD has been that we have a deep relationship, a genuine relationship with practices, and they tell us what they want to develop, what they want the software to look and feel like. It's not like something that we are dictating. It's dictated by the practices. And that's how, how it's really evolved over the years. Um, and it's been really fun for me. I mean, um, I've never gotten bored of selling it. And really, I'm more of a, a player coach. You know, I'm managing the sales team, but I'm also in the game selling every day. And so I'm able to kind of get um, a good, good heartbeat on what the practices are wanting and needing. Um, and with our company, we're working within different departments. So I'm on the business development side of the, of TouchMD, you know, helping design and build and dream up the features. So it's been, it's been amazing. And, and, and the software has evolved, um, so much over the last 10 years, um, to where it's at today. That's huge. I, I when I say that's huge, there's a few things. First of all, I love the basic philosophy of being yourself in sales. Uh, also like you creating content online, there's this pressure to be somebody else. I'm like, I can't do it. I'm just, if I'm going to do this, I'm just going to be myself. And that's going to be, if that's good for some people, great. If it's not for others, yeah. fine. And the same is true in sales. I'm not going to be everything to everyone. Uh, and I might not appeal to everyone and I might not sell to everyone, but I can sell, I, I can match with those people who really need what I have to offer if I care about them and I'm just going to be myself. Yeah, of course. I love that philosophy. It's so basic, so simple, but it's so important. Yeah. The other thing that I think is huge is that they're, that you're at a company that's talking to the person, like you said, that is in the practices that really knows what they need and want to help inform product development. I think that's really says a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And we make, I mean, we develop fairly quickly, I'd say relatively to other companies um, you know, it doesn't take, you know, 20 meetings to build something out. I mean, when, if we see a need and it's something that practices want and we see that pain point, we're going to build it. Um, for example, we just came out with 
uh, photo sequencing. Before we just had grid lines and ghosting features, but now you can create a custom sequence for cool sculpting or Velux or Volbella or whatever it is. And instead of having to switch between grid lines as you're having the patient turn, the app automatically does it for you, which is a no brainer, but it's something that practices love and it's something they've always needed. So no brainer, but you wouldn't necessarily know that if you didn't live in the practice. Yes, exactly. Yes. Okay. So that sounds like a cool feature and I want to kind of hear more about features, but I think I just, we should back up to even just really making sure for anyone who doesn't know what TouchMD is, what it is, well, I want to give them kind of a walkthrough. Yeah, of course. As you do that, because I have a lot, of, we have clients that use it. I've seen it. I've been around it, but I I feel like even still today, and you just showed me a little bit more yesterday, but I feel like even still today, I don't even understand the full gamut of what it does. Like I think of it as a photo solution and I think of it as a consult solution. And it's kind of a little bit of both of those things, right? And maybe yeah. more. So tell us. Yeah. So first off, it, it's a luxury software branded and tailored to the practice. It's unlike anything else um, in the industry. And although there's other photo systems, there's only one consultation technology. There's only one in-practice marketing technology. And we integrate with 40 different EMR and practice management systems. Wow. So we're really in a lane of our own. So we have the most integrations um, in the industry, and we're taking more photos every day than any other photo company in the industry. Um, thousands and thousands of pictures a minute, uh, oh. which is great. So essentially, I mean, at its core, um, there's three things that TouchMD is best in class at. One would be being a consultation technology. So guiding the provider through the console, um, being able to have real-time access to illustrations, real-time access to pictures of the patient, videos, before and afters, any piece of content that is a consumable piece of content for the patient and a meaningful piece of content to have during the console, that's gonna be there at the point of care. So they're gonna have real-time access on an iPad, branded and tailored to them, and it's a sales aid, whether it's cool sculpting, M sculpt, breast dog, tummy tuck, Botox, whatever it is, it's going to guide you through the console. So typically, practices have flip books, you know, from Cyton, they send them a three ring binder to walk them through the console. So they have, you know, 10 different ways uh, to give a consultation. But with TouchMD, it's one centralized way. And that way you have consistency. So we talk about consistency in photos, but we also need consistency in providing a high level console. So that way, no matter who's giving the console, they're going to know that I need a full up a video. I need to go to this illustration. I need to make that recommendation, no matter what it is. If I'm talking about that BBL halo treatment, that combination, I need to make sure I touch on that. And then, oh yeah, also with BBL halo, I need to recommend elastin. They usually do like the elastin skin nectar. And that's all going to be on that one TouchMD page. So literally, we believe that just as every practice has a website, Every practice should have a touch of D system. And just like every website is uniquely branded, tailored, and white labeled to the practice, so goes every touch of D system. So, you know, there's practices in San Francisco where there's 22 aesthetic practices in one building. Obviously, they all have websites. We want them to all have touch of D systems, but they're all unique. So that's one aspect. The second aspect is probably my favorite, which is in practice marketing. And so essentially, with TouchMD, we do point-of-care marketing on TVs with algorithms that keep that content shuffled and unique, and that's nice, but what takes it to the next level is this menu idea of what if, while the patient is captive in the room, let's say this patient's here today for cool sculpting. Um, Ashley's here today for cool sculpting. I room Ashley. I have cool sculpting pulled up on the iPad on TouchMD, and I'd hand her the iPad, and I'd say something like this. Hey, Ashley, this is our new technology that we've invested in to enhance your experience today with our practice. While you're waiting, you can press play and watch a video on pool sculpting. You can look at some before and after photos. You can read reviews. You can sign in or sign up for Ally. Or if you have time, hit that little back button at the top left-hand corner of the screen and you can browse through everything that we offer. We'll be with you shortly. Mm -hmm. So then what happens is, of course, her experience is enhanced, differentiating the practice. But now we're taking advantage. Usually practices have on average three to seven minutes pre-console and she's locked in. She can't get out of TouchMD and like jump into Netflix, but she's literally locked in on the iPad and she's either going to be more educated on cool sculpting, which means she's going to have better questions for the provider and the provider is going to hopefully have better answers and a higher conversion rate or 40% of the time she hits that back button and she becomes more aware. And I would say one out of two practices that we talk about when we talk about patients not even knowing that they offer other services, that happens all the time in aesthetics where they go to their favorite med spa and they have no idea that they have Morpheus 8. 
And all of a sudden, this patient, they are just so busy that that time pre-consult, I call it the golden minutes, three to seven minutes pre-consult, that time pre-consult is the most underutilized time in all of aesthetics, and we're going to be able to actually maximize that time. I was going to wait for you to finish, but I was going to tell you that I, I, I see this phenomenon all, phenomenon all the time, and I was just speaking with a doctor here who was a client of ours about internal marketing yesterday of um, the biggest failure in internal marketing or I, in, in, that I see in general is just forgetting to tell people that you do offer certain services and they don't know to ask. And he was saying, it's not a restaurant. You know, walk in and get a menu. And if you did, it wouldn't be the right experience, but this would be the right experience yeah. where you can peruse and browse in those, I like that, golden minutes. That's the biggest failure is just, yeah. to, is just to forget to even say, hey, by the way, we do a whole lot of other stuff. And these days there are a lot of things yeah. to do, that, totally. to be offered. So, And the practice, one cool thing is the practice can track that. So the provider, before they walk in, they know that Ashley's here for cool sculpting. But all of a sudden, they could find out that she was looking at skin medica, skin suticals, whatever, you know, whatever the case may be. Or but they can see the time on it. Yeah, they could see what she's been clicking on. And then the third thing that we do yeah. so would, would be photography. So we have grid lines and ghosting features, video features. So we're driving consistency. And we believe we're best in class at photography, not only because we're capturing these photos on an iPad, but we have an exclusive partnership with Canon where you can sync, for the first time, sync a Canon camera with a photo app where those photos that you capture automatically save um, into the patient's account. And then you have, again, what makes us best in class. It's not even really capturing photos. It's pulling them up quickly because anybody can capture a photo. The pain point is, yeah, I took that great photo, but now I always have a hard time pulling it up in the consultation. And then even if you could get it quickly, they always have a hard time drawing on it or putting it side by side or creating a cool reveal video or adding text. And then even when they get to that point, you get that beautiful photo, you get that beautiful side-by-side or video. How do you get that to the patient? And with TouchMD, it's just all instant. It's real time. Uh, we have the watermarking features so you can prep your images for social. We have a new social media integration. You can post your pictures right from touch. So this capturing pictures consistently, showcasing pictures instantly and beautifully, and then delivering them to the patient and to your social media after you have that incredible result. Amazing. And even, I guess you could have them in, so in the beginning you have consult, sort of the guided pathway for a consultation, which I think is great because it should be a standard thing no matter who's providing it. And you might forget, you might go in different sequences. So just saying, this is kind of exactly what we found is a successful way to enlighten a patient. I love that. And make sure that people stay on those guide rails. And you have before and after pictures in those there, but those would be examples. Those would be showing them what results could look like. Can you then pull up, I guess you could then pull up within, I guess it wouldn't be a console, but like a, a post-op or something, you could then pull up their, the patient's photos pretty quickly as well. Yep. So there's other reasons that you're sitting with a patient, you want to pull it up, you'd have it right there. Yeah. And like you said, social. Yes. Okay. And I always like to teach practices as I'm consulting them that, you know, we should be designing these experiences, not only in TouchMD, but on their website based on the, the experiences that they come to love every day, whether it's their favorite app, if it's Pinterest, mm -hmm. or if it's TikTok, if it's Peacock or Netflix. Think of the user interface, that UI, and try to design that experience for the patient based on what you've come to, to know and love. And I talk about the Amazon-like experience. You know, we're trying at TouchMD, we want to provide an Amazon-like experience for the patient at the point of care, meaning I'm going to use cool sculpting again. Um, or it could be anything. Let's use Morpheus 8. If a patient's here today for Morpheus 8, we want videos to watch, before and afters to look at, testimonials slash reviews. But then we also want to have, if you're using Cherry or if you're using Care Credit or whatever patient finance you're using, we want to put that on your high ticket, high ticket product pages so that as the patient's learning, actually, yeah, I do want Morpheus 8. It's great to also make them aware that they have options for payments. Is there? Yeah, absolutely. There's so many things that have to come together in that one moment. So to have a place that helps to compile it and helps keep you on track and then puts it all in front of the patient uh, is huge. Do you also capture, can you capture and record and, you know, basically keep on file and, you know, marketing consent on those photos from the patient right there? Yes. Yes. So I feel like that's a big thing that gets forgotten when it's on paper. Yeah. And, like, you know, as marketers, we need those photos. And so the <laughs> consent being digital is a like huge. Yeah. So um, patients can sign all of their consents on TouchMD um, on the patient app before they come in on the patient portal. Some practices want to put the portal on their website. 
or in the office on an iPad or Windows device. They can even have the, or require that the patient takes a picture of themselves as stamps onto the yeah. consent as well. And then we also have a way for, you know, their marketing team, the practice's marketing team to get real-time access to photos that they've signed off on as being social media or Instagram worthy. And for the social media team to be able to verify that the patient signed the consent before they download and export and edit. Yeah, that's humongous. How, how about, can they differentiate between internal or external marketing consent and yeah. say, I don't want this on a website or on social media, but you could show it to other patients in a consult. 100%. Huge. And then, and then that could then, you could then populate that into your consult workflow if you wanted to, those particular photos. Yes. Which I guess I imagine a lot of what you're showing on a tablet during a consult is past patient results, right? Yeah. Aside from educational materials. Yeah, for sure. And so those people who sit, and I imagine a lot more people do, I mean, I know from my own experience, a lot more people are willing to let another patient see in that consult process because they want their... They yeah, kind of see the dot on their website. Right. They yeah. kind of see themselves helping another in that journey, but a little bit more privately. Yeah. So being able to just go click, click, yep, yeah, send those over to my my consultation workflow for this particular procedure, mm -hmm. that sounds really, uh, really convenient. Mm -hmm. You also, go ahead. Well, I was going to say um, something that we teach our practices is, well, one, when is the most prime time for the patient to download the app? Uh, the patient app. And it's typically after you've had that great, ex either number one, after you take their photos or number two, after you provide a great experience because we need patients downloading the app. One of the pain points that practices are going to start to see, especially over the next few years, is a lot of companies want you to have practices to have your patients download their app, right? And patients are only going to download so many apps. So we need to provide as much value in that app as possible the value in the TouchMD app is the fact that they can see their pictures. That's the Trojan horse. They can review their pre and post. They can sign their consents. They can take a HIPAA compliant selfie. The other value is subliminally at the top of the app, there's a little video, video player. So instead of just playing ads on TVs, we can actually play your practice specific advertisements at the top of the app and the patient can actually engage with it. They can heart it. They can skip it. It's not annoying. So it's, it's important for practices to think of how are my patients consuming content and making sure that you're not requiring too many portals, too many apps, trying to consolidate those experiences as one move. Awesome. And what, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I, I was asking you about that the other day that of course, there's a lot of reason that you as the provider would want them to have this white labeled patient app, but what do you get? What's kind of the carrot to get them to download it? So the photos, that does make sense. Once you have them in that app, then there's a lot of other re-engagement opportunities, like you said, playing an, a video or an advertisement about the practice, maybe making an offer. Do you guys have other other engagement tools in there? And are, are, is there other things that you intend for once that app is in the uh, other features that will that you'll release to re-engage patients in that app? Yes, yes. So one is called Blast. So it's TouchMD Blast. And essentially, we don't do email blasts. We don't do text blasts. We do what's called app blasting. Uh -huh. And you can target market patients based on what they're looking at, based on photo tags, product recommendations, um, views, but essentially you could say, I have a special on hydrofacial. I want to send it out to any patient that's ever looked at hydrofacial in the office or through the patient app, or I have a special on Volbella. I want to send it out to any patient that I've ever tagged their photo as Volbella. And the technology will say, Ooh. you've got 122 patients that have ever looked at Volbella, or you've tagged their photo as Kybella. You want to send it and we send it out and they get pinged just like they'd get pinged to push notification on their Starbucks app they get pinged the push notification on their patient app. Yeah, that's huge. Can they also peruse all the services just as they do when they're in the waiting room on that app? So yeah. at home, they can learn about other things. Yes, 100%. Yeah, that's, 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 I mean, I know they can go to a website and all those things, but to have it in there and, and to have it in their pocket and to have I get all those. their photos and other reasons that they're going in there. Yeah. It's, it's a, like it's, cause it's almost three separate things in a weird way, but then it's totally not these yeah. three different components, the internal marketing, the consultation, what do you call it? A consultation? Uh, consultation app. App. Okay. Mm -hmm. Consultation app, internal marketing suite of tools, mm -hmm. and suite of tools for, for before and after photos. Yes. Another thing you made this point of a lot of patients aren't willing to put their pictures on their website right. for anybody to look at. Right. But we do get many of those same patients that only allow for in-office use. A lot of our practices have switched that verbiage to say in office or from like a secure portal or secure app. So they would be willing if the patient can only, only patients can see from home outside of the office on the patient app or patient portal. But to your point, um, that's something I'm starting to see as well. Oh, that's very interesting. 
Okay, and so then the photo side of things, uh, there are a number of softwares out there that do this. You said you're the number one. You have uh, in terms of volume, you have the exclusive partnership with Canon. We also interviewed a company you partner with, Jason Johnson. Yes, and I, I'm really fascinated with what he's doing because I think we get asked all the time, "How do I set up this before and after photo booth or setup so that I can take good, consistent photos?" And we do our best, but it's not what we do. And, and the reason that it's hard is because it needs to be tailored. And I love that he, you're partnering with him. Yes. He's building a custom tailored solution to that practice. And then he's tying into your software. Yeah. And then, you know, you mentioned this ghosting thing a few times for people who don't understand that's basically taking the, the before photo and making sure that you're lining and lightly sort of overlaying it mm -hmm. sort of translucently so that you can then make sure that you're lining up the photos perfectly on the after. So that it looks really consistent. Yeah. Cause even just that small shift in a photo makes it hard for the, the brain to just do this quick AB. Wow. Look at the difference in the result. Kind of crop differently if it's all of a sudden they're looking at 10 changes instead of just the change you want their eye to focus on yeah and the grid okay and then the grid lines are similar try to try to help you line up certain things in similar places right yeah yeah because the com i mean the common denominator with great photography is going to be consistency correct so we want consistent lighting distance expression background jewelry was a hair pulled back all the different things uh makeup on makeup off things like that um what's I'll, I'll talk about the touch MD side you know we have the grid lines which are great and now we have a vast library of grid lines so you know if you're offering you know breast augmentation we have you know probably 25 grid lines specific just for breast stock or for rhinoplasty or for filler um, and then now we can actually customize those in that sequence so you're going to be able to say i want just a sequence of three every time i take a picture of a patient that is using zeo or whatever the case may be elastin uh, but where Jason comes into play is we've had so many practices that want to take their photography to the next level. And now uh, we have that Canon Connect, that exclusive partnership with Canon, um, which is amazing. But where Jason really takes it to the next level is by designing that um, custom tailored photo studio. My favorite is actually um, his mount that hangs from the wall and you actually can just pull it down, push it right back up. It holds an iPad with the camera in real time. So essentially, we're um, really taking the software um, and the hardware component, and we're bringing those together. You know, his best-in-class hardware, our best-in-class software, that real-time access. So no matter who's taking photos, it's perfectly consistent. But then we have that instantaneous access at the point of care so that the doctor, the provider's not looking for it, and then patients have that real-time access as well. Yeah, it's a huge, well, again, as a marketer, something yeah. that we can't possibly overvalue is consistent photos. And there's, and there's a big, a couple aspects of that. Like you said, the hardware, the setup, and then the software. So those yeah. two things coming together and then you have, and then you just have access to it all the time. And yeah. that's the other stumbling block. I got to pull it out of an S a SD card out and load it. And then, yeah. you know, I know from doing content like this, that the post-production workflows can be the biggest bottleneck. And it's, yeah. it's the same as true before and after. So what's great about Jason, I mean, I, many of the listeners today, um, you've seen his before and afters. You know, he's trusted by the biggest companies in the industry, right. the Allergans, the Evolises. Um, he's, he's incredible. He knows what he's doing. But my favorite thing is that you're not getting a cookie cutter solution. Absolutely. It's not like the, you have to use it like this. Too bad if your room doesn't work. Too bad if it just doesn't work out for you with your window or your lighting. Jason literally will come in um, whether that's virtually or however it is, but he will, he can't even give you an exact price, um, right off the bat because it's so custom, you know, you might need an extra light. You might need 10 extra lights. You might want an exact light just for the one room out of the two rooms or two studio studios that you're building out. So what I love most is that it's completely custom for every practice as I believe it should be. Well, that's why I think it's so smart. You guys partner with him because you need, it can't be cookie cutter, it has to be custom and you need to partner with someone who can think fluidly in every situation. He both understands photography, videography, lighting, but then also, like you said, he shot for the biggest company. So he really understands this clinical before and after yeah. the nuances of that. So really, really smart partnership. And I really enjoyed meeting him. He has an episode that, that we're putting out as well. I don't know if this one will come out first or that one, but you, everyone should watch both of them. Uh, I, I want to let you get going here. I want to be mindful of your time. I just have you know, two, two other things that come to mind. You have a lot of EMR integrations. That's very impressive. You mentioned, do you also have partnerships with industry to kind of bring in that content? You talked about certain brands will send in an O-ring binder and that can be a helpful resource, but it needs to be consolidated, right? Because it's like, how many of these binders can we have out on a counter on? Yeah. Whatever. So do you partner with, with industry to bring that kind of content in? 
We do. So essentially think of all the different brand boxes. Yep. Um, essentially we're bringing those brand boxes to life and then they're going to live within our platform. So if a practice signs up for TouchMD, the very first training, we're going to go through all of that content, A through Z. And we're going to say, okay, yes, I do offer um, Evelis's toxin, and I, but I use all these different allergen products. I do use Cyton, you know, their Hero, BBL, and Halo, um, and I'm using the Morpheus 8. So we're going to go through and check, 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 check. But then um, we can take that page out of the box that comes from um, in mode, and then we could take a video that was produced by your company, and we can actually take that video plug it in so it's them. I mean, the the best-in-class product page would be talking about Morpheus 8, but a video of the practice talking about Morpheus 8. Sure. About those benefits. I would agree. And then them explaining the features and benefits and having their before and afters and then their testimonials and reviews. Now, the pages that come out of the box from TouchMD are going to be, you know, the ones that were pr produced by Allergan or, or Cyton. And then we can actually um, customize and, and combine both pieces of content from industry and with this. Build a custom workflow, so to speak. Yes. Yeah, awesome. Okay, and then the last thing I wanted to ask you about, you guys had some pretty big news about six, seven months ago. Is yes. That you were acquired by Next Tech. Yes, we were. So um, Next Tech has been an incredible partner over the last 10 years. Um, we've been integrated with Next Tech since 2012. Um, we have the most um, integrations um, within the industry in terms of practices that have both TouchMD and Next Tech, uh, they did acquire. So it was kind of a logical. It was, it was. Um, it's it's really combining two best in class technologies. Um, you know, the best EMR. They're the number one EMR for plastic surgeons. The number one EMR for um, ophthalmologists and, and dermatologists. Um, and then the the number one uh, patient engagement technology being TouchMD. But combining the two, um, they've been incredible partners. Um, over the last 10 years, and then for them to acquire TouchMD and, and bring us into the Next Tech family. So, yes, TouchMD is part of Next Tech, and uh, I am now part of Next Tech, and it's been it's been amazing. And there's actually a lot of really cool things that we're working on right now that are under the hood that I can't talk about today, but that will literally change the industry and really combine um, some of the most incredible components of you know patient engagement, but also you know consultation components, but really bringing the best of both worlds with what they have to offer, with what TouchMD has to offer, or, or I should say with what we have to offer. That's exciting. I can't wait to hear about them when you can talk about them. So, but these two brands are st are, dis are staying distinct. TouchMD is still its own. Yes. So we're, we're under the Next Tech umbrella, but um, Next Tech um, is very confident in what they bring to the market, um, being that best in class uh, EMR solution. Um, and they're very excited and confident what TouchMD has. So um, if you are using a different EMR, um, you're not going to be forced to not use that anymore if you have TouchMD. But um, there will be in the future, um, you know, exclusive pieces of integration points between the, the TouchMD and Next Tech technologies, I'm sure. I'm sure that will happen, or at least I hope that happens. That's kind of how Enrique described to me after my med leads, because we have a lot of clients that use that. And after... He was merged or acquired by Next Tech a few years ago. Yeah. I kind of said same thing. We're not going to be a closed ecosystem, but over time there'll be some benefits to yeah. Next Tech customers. Yeah, for sure. And and you know, they're again confident in what Next Tech brings to the table. And you know, they're supportive of uh TouchMD has, you know, now over 40 integrations. So they're they're excited and confident in that. Uh, but confident in the fact that, you know practices will have something to look into with what's going to be um, amazing, an amazing synergy between TouchMD and Next Tech. Awesome. Will there be an opportunity for them to sort of purchase it in a bundled fashion, Next Tech, TouchMD or? Yes. Yeah. yeah there, there's a lot of things coming down the pipeline where there will be, you know, various bundles. I don't have anything specific mm -hmm. to talk about, but yeah, there will be some. There maybe some also price uh, advantage on someone who's purchasing. Yeah, there should be. These different pieces. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tyler, for your time. And I'd love to be back on to talk about I'm that. I'm going to have you on and maybe remote because we're going to be kind of doing from our studio, we're going to be doing some remote interviews. But And so we should definitely do that. In, in the meantime, if people want to learn more about TouchMD, where should we send them? Yeah, just uh, touchmd.com. Pretty simple. Book, book a demo. It takes uh, literally 10 minutes to show it to you. So Awesome. Tyler, thank you so much for your time. This, hey, thank this you. is really helpful and informative. I learn more. I love learning more about these kind of best-in-class products and services that our peers are offering in the industry so we can bring them to our clients. 
So thank you for sharing. Yeah, thanks. Safe you. travels home. Hey, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Take care.